See, this restaurant over here, somebody put in a date rape in a, in a drink. Anyway, so, when I was meeting someone to, tonight, I remember the Gemara. The Gemara had a story about a guy, a Rav, and he didn't want to lift up somebody's uh, stuff that fell in the market because he said, Sepasnisht. And I remember that Sepasnisht stuff from the Charedim in Yerushalayim. So, the friend tonight tells me, don't come on a bicycle like you do to the meeting. It's a pasnish. Come like and bring your car or come in a nice cab like a limo. Because uh, this way, it, it looks chashub. So I said, okay, okay. I won't come in a bicycle. And what I did was, I came in a skateboard. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. Good night. Of course, like a mensch, I, 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 left a, I left a nice tip, but Sepasnisht uh, is something that does exist in Chazal, by the way. It's something that uh, Chazal had this concept, uh, and, uh, but it's not a good concept. We got to get rid of it. So, uh, so we got to get rid of it. Because in Yiddish they say no job, however, uh, however um, simple, is this honoring. No malacha. That doesn't matter what pshat nevela b'shuk v'al t'starech labrias. They would say. So kitzer. But you gotta be yourself. You can't be a person that worries. A lot of rabbanim had this problem that they would not take on. Uh, issue which would actually be their shlichus raison their matara, their mit, you know, their calling, their calling. We're looking for meaning in this world because the universe doesn't have meaning. So that's why, and 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 we, that's why we want to find it. And your your meaning is also part of this opportunity when you have to speak out to to do the right thing. And they say sepasnished. One classmate of mine uh, was married and then now he is supposed to be dating again because of the Zivig edition didn't uh, last. So he, he was interested in a certain girl she was teaching in the, in, the, in the girls' school. I said to him, look, you see her, you speak to her, say hi, this is my name and you don't have to shake hands if you have this all these uh, kind of customs where you don't... Uh, but tell her you wanna, you would like to take her out. Because to find the Shadchan to speak to her, it may take forever. And he said, Sepasnisht. It's not for me, it's not befitting. I told him the funny thing about this story is that the girl, if she sees that you break the law, but you do it with, with your own covet, with your own self-respect and your own authority, she might be very impressed. I brought my boots, my nice Pradas. Anyway, uh, she might be very impressed. So where does this Sepasnish come from? So I tell some people it comes from the Goyim. This whole Sepasnish comes from the Goyim. But the truth is, it's just a myth. A myth is not a lie. It's like a lie that you're trying to get something uh, positive from it. Same thing when I sp spoke in that same hotel when I spoke to Rabbi Eli Mansur of the Syrian community and I said that the, the women's second class and looking down at women is something that must have been adopted from the Syrian Goyim. That's not exactly true. The title is written all over it. Men, uh, uh, first of all, the whole title looks like it's written by a man. Every story, every uh, situation. A woman is looked at like the not to be trusted and things like that. It's very unfortunate, but that's what that's what the society was like. But when you tell them it's Goyish, it's like telling a Labavitcher boy that if you use your hands, you're like Henton B'nai Brak. They used to have this myth. So he felt that whatever works to c convince the person not to use this type of habit and to try the best to avoid or change this habit. So... I was speaking to Obavitcher Rebetzin last week and 
I told her the story of Rabbi Mansur and I said, I told him it's a Goyish thing, we picked it up from the Goyim. And she agreed right away. What, uh, I was being a little disingenuous, but whatever works. Because we all know that, that women are very capable and very important. So whatever works, it's going to take people forever to do the right thing, especially when they're educated with bad ideas. So whatever works. Thank you for watching Shane Vachamishi.